you think that there was, there, was there a point during the trial when you said, I think we got this, I, I think we're winning this, so even maybe even towards the closings? We didn't want to be presumptuous enough to think that we were winning because it was very hard to read the jury, but we did think that Johnny's direct testimony and his performance on cross was excellent. And we also were happy with Camille Vasquez's masterful cross-examination of, of, of Amber Heard. And we think the contrast there was one of them was willing to take accountability and one of them appeared less willing to be accountable for certain things and appeared to have convenient answers for everything. So we felt that we had shown the contrast we wanted to and then in, in closing, we felt that we were able to recapitulate it and remind the jury about what they'd heard over six long weeks. So that was our goal, and we felt, we felt happy about the way the evidence came in. Let's talk about Johnny and the stand. So the day that he takes the stand, I, I'm sure you were prepping him. If you can, was he nervous? Were you guys nervous? I mean, this is your guy taking the stand. We were nervous in the sense that he writes all of his, I mean, he writes his scripts when he is performing roles. And this is no different. I mean, we had suggestions as any attorneys would, but ultimately what he says is all in his own words. So um, we knew, or we strongly believe that he was going to be consistent with everything and, and truthful. And so in that sense, we weren't that worried about him. And he didn't have to be uh, reminded about dates and events. I mean, his memory is quite clear about what happened and what did not happen. I thought he was terrific.